Last stop, Paris, a meeting with the president and a final effort to make all this about his day job. I wish every senator would take the same trip that we have taken. But only one senator is the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. And without a doubt, the unspoken goal of John McCain's week on the world stage was to back up a favorite campaign theme. I've spent my entire life addressing national security issues, and I know how to handle them. I don't need any on-the-job training, and I am prepared to lead. Prepared as well, he says, to do some repair work. In much of Europe, George W. Bush is viewed as a go-it-alone cowboy, Guantanamo Bay as a moral outrage. And from day one, Europeans felt ignored by Mr. Bush on climate change. McCain promises he would not be more of the same. I'll join with them to try to address climate change. We won't torture any prisoner that Americans hold in our custody. I think I can, can improve those relations and have us work together in a more cooperative, cooperative fashion. As Mr. Bush knows, it is often not what you say, but how you say it that can ruffle feathers. Uh, there's an old poster out west, as I recall, that said, wanted, dead or alive. So while Senator McCain is known to wish the British would keep more troops in Iraq a bit longer, outside of 10 Downing Street, the picture of diplomacy. I believe that that decision is made by the British government and people. No apologies, though, for a musical parody that many around the world took as a true sign of his thinking. Bomberan, you know. <laughs> Bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway, uh, when veterans are together, veterans joke. And I was with veterans and we were joking. And if somebody can't understand that, my answer is please get a life. What he calls straight talk can at times seem brusque, like in Israel. When asked about Palestinian complaints, he scheduled no time with their leaders. They say it's proof to them you wouldn't be an honest broker or that at least until you're president, you're pandering to the lobby back home. Well, uh, they're free to say whatever they want.